If you're a cat parent or a dog parent, along with all the fun and happy times, you also know that your, your, your pets can also show signs of being stressed and anxious sometimes. We have nationally known veterinarian Dr. Natalie Marks here with more. Thank you so much for your time today. So many stressors for our cats and dogs, but situational stressors, even just like thunderstorms or Halloween trick-or-treaters that are coming up, or even just a, a bit, visit to the veterinary office. But there's a lot of chronic stress that can linger under the radar in the house, like boredom or lack of exercise. And with cats, litter box changes. Good news is, is though our pets show us when they're stressed. So cats will flatten their ears. They get wide-eyed with dilated pupils. They bring their head and body and tail very low and close to the ground and tuck it in tense position, lick their lips, or even groom inappropriately. Dogs do very similar things, but they also show us what's called whale eye, where the whites of the eyes are very prominent. They raise their hackles on their neck, and they can even pant or yawn excessively. Talk a little bit about what we can do, because obviously with, with young kids, sometimes if there's a change in schedule or school uh, or, you know, older relatives who might be in, in college, that they're not seeing them as often. And you kind of talk to those kids as far as like, here's what's happening. We're going through a change. What's something that pet owners can do as far as maybe preparing their pets for a change or something that might be happening, you know, like you said, Halloween trick-or-treaters or just, you know, an upcoming storm. Yeah. So I want to just bring up four great strategies to help us have our cats and dogs be as at least amount of stress as possible. So first is pheromones. So these are great year round or for those situational events. These are calming um, messages that normally cats communicate to other cats or dog to dog or human to human. Feel the way optimum are advanced calming messages. So it promotes a feeling of comfort and security, whether through a spray on bedding or in the carrier of the car. I like easy. So I like a diffuser, just plug it into the outlet, continuous calming messages in your house. There's a version for dogs too. Nutrition is a great way to calm pets. Royal Canin has wonderful therapeutic diets for calming support, hydration, and urinary support. These help, again, reduce the signs of these emotional stressors that cause physical disease. Travel, you know, going to visit people and certainly having people come to you, very stressful. I love the Sleepy Pod mobile pet bed. Rigorously crash tested. It's the same standards as child car safety seats, so very safe for your pet, but inside, super plush and comfy. Yummy treats pet t-shirt in there, fleece for cats. They love that. And pheromone sprays. And you've got a wonderful way to have your pets travel safely and calmly, which of course helps us. And then don't forget the ACC loop and calmer canines. So this is clinically proven with electromagnetic waves to help stimulate pets' natural healing and reduce pain and inflammation at the site. So we put this at the targeted area 15 minutes twice a day for six weeks. And you've got a calmer pet. Lots of great strategies to help you at home. I wanted to ask about the, the sleepy pod. As far as different sizes, do they come in different sizes as far as pet or is it just the standard size of, of that one? So there's different models depending mm -hmm. on your cats or dogs. And it's, again, it's not only safe, it's also super comfortable. Let's talk a little bit about travel. Obviously, you know, the holidays are coming up quicker than we probably anticipated them. Yeah. Um, but traveling by, by plane, by car, having new people in the house, uh, give us a couple of tips for, for our pets. Yeah. So the important thing is, is to start early. So especially if you're using carriers, start leaving them out now. We want these open at home so that you can feed your pet in them. Again, use pheromones, yummy treats, having that blanket or t-shirt that's familiar to them. So they're desensitized. We don't want to get the carrier out 10 minutes before you're leaving for the airport. So that's really important. The other thing is talk to your veterinarian. There's a lot of other strategies we can talk about, including pharmaceutical support, especially if it's been a hard travel event previously. Your pet will remember and it will be even harder to travel with them. So start early, leave that carrier out, use some of the other strategies strategies here, including nutrition, and talk to your vet. Let us know where we can get all the uh, all the products. Yeah, great partners here. They're all focused on calming. So feelaway.com, royalcanin.com, sleepypod.com, and assisianimalhealth.com. Wonderful. Dr. Natalie Marks, thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having me.